All right, so today uh, there's a protest addressing the number of school closings. This is a world. This is a world. This is a world. We mentioned before that we have multiple school districts here. In the city of Easter, oh, no. about 20 miles west of here, which is a microcosm of Detroit. Easter whole public school system was closed. And we have to fight for our education. And it doesn't just start with the protests, right? We know we owe a responsibility in our communities to make sure that the children who can't get to the classroom get to the classroom, right? So we have community responsibility as well as holding these systems accountable. We know that over $200 million was invested in schools that now sit close. We know that over $10 million was spent to invest in schools that have now been demolished. There are only three things that will remove us from our city. Our schools being closed, our jobs not being available, and then foreclosures that are moving us just as quick as anything else. But I'm going to create a quick connecting of the dots for you. Betsy DeVos and the DeVos family is related to the head of Veolia. Veolia is an international privatizer of water, transportation, and education. Veolia advised DWSD to privatize your water. Veolia advised Flint to drink contaminated water. Veolia is advising the state of Michigan on privatizing public education. Veolia is involved in the M1 rail. Veolia and the divorces have their hands in every aspect of your life. So this cannot just be about saving education. This has to be about saving education, pensions, houses, land, water. Because as Reverend Pinkney said, it's not about one thing, it's about everything. I think, uh, I think that was a pretty uh, powerful argument for intersectionality, why intersectionality is important. I think, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll let the speech speak for itself, but uh, that's it for this video. Uh, like it if you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Red signing off. Love yourselves. Peace.